So a lot of parents were asking, well, well, how do I now talk to my son about the birds and the bees? We had a conversation that we all kind of followed script, those of us, those parents who were willing to do it, um, although most people learned about sex through their friends and through, through other exposure. But having parents speak to their children about sex is critical, just like you would speak to them about not crossing the road and how to cross the road and, and so forth. And I had this occasion as a parent, and um, I think it's a good example of one way to do that. And I came home, and my wife told me that, well, your son, now he became my son, as opposed to our son, typed the word sex into his iPod. And so I thought, oh my goodness. So he was nine. And that's about the age kids start really getting, uh, exploring and getting curious. So I decided I was gonna have to have a, a chat with him, and I knew I couldn't be heavy-handed because the moment I started trying to regulate his curiosity, I know I'd lose him. So my goal was, which I think should be every parent's goal, should be to open up the conversation and keep the conversation going. So that was my objective when I went to talk to him about it. And I had three goals in mind. I was gonna answer his questions about sex because I knew he was curious. I was going to speak to him about um, what our values were. And I was gonna speak to him about, about the internet and then let him know that I was there for him if he needed to make new decisions about that. And that's what I did. He asked me questions, or actually he didn't ask questions, he just wanted me to talk about the physical act of sex, and I was just kind of matter of fact. I didn't get um, um, nervous or upset about it, I just kind of gave him some basic facts, and his question at the end was, well, do most people have sex to have babies or for pleasure? And I said, most people have sex for pleasure. So I thought it was an astute question. And uh, I gave him our values and what, what we thought, you know, how sex should be connected to values without being heavy handed. The moment parents are either too permissive or too heavy handed, both of those extremes will get you to the same place. A kid who will hide his sexuality from himself or herself and from others and especially, especially from the parents. So I always encourage parents to stay out of the extremes, not too permissive, and not too overly moralizing or restrictive. And the last thing I shared with him was about the internet and the dangers and one day you're gonna be with your friends and you guys are gonna be curious and you're gonna do something and you're gonna to have to make a decision. If you make a wrong decision, it's okay. Just come talk to me about it. So I want you to know you can always come talk to me about it. So what I would encourage parents to do around this expanding universe of sexual exploration is to be there for their kids and to be a safe place for them to come when they get confused or overwhelmed. It's the best prevention. You cannot control access with your kids. It's impossible. So the moment parents start to restrict access as the only method to safeguard their child, they begin to lose their child's trust and respect and they stop talking to them. Certainly, I think it's important to regulate the amount of time on the internet and people have different opinions about that. So we, we have rough limits with my son, for example. I think people should have some limits about the exposure because the truth is if kids are on the internet all day and all night, they don't do their homework, they don't go to sleep, they have trouble sleeping and so forth. So I think there should be some regulation. But if that's your only method of parenting around this, you're in trouble.